think about advancing AI for healthcare in a number of different facets. So some are direct to the patients. What tools and what capabilities can we develop to help them really understand where they are in their healthcare journey and empower them to make great decisions? We also think about AI from the provider side. So how can we help providers better understand their patients? How can we help providers optimize their time within the health system as they're seeing patients, as they're trying to make complex decisions to create the conditions for improved patient health outcomes. We also think about AI from the defensive side. So we understand that there is a great vulnerability within the health ecosystem. More and more is coming online in the internet of things that are going to have an incredibly positive effect, but we also know it creates vulnerabilities. And so we're using that same AI technology to help defend against those vulnerabilities, to anticipate the negative implications that are happening within the health systems and to try to stay ahead of it. ARPA-H takes on the entirety of the health ecosystem. It's not just biomedical research. It's not just resilient systems. It's not just investing in the tech of the future. It is all of those. And what we do is we actually go out and we seek these incredible innovators. We call them our program managers. And they come to us and they say, you know, here are the big problems that we're seeing in the health ecosystem space. We will fund anything across the health ecosystem so long as it helps further our mission, which is to improve health outcomes for everyone. So the AI cyber challenge fits so well within the mission of ARPA Age in that we are funding traditional type programs, which are big and bold and ambitious. We also fund these challenges where we know that there is a large problem within the health ecosystem and we need to have the most innovative solutions come to the table to come in and look at that problem set in an entirely different way. And we have said, here are what we understand are those problems. And we've given them the access to so much of the capability that, that we see here at DEF CON. And we say, we aren't going to tell you what the solution is. You tell us how you would solve that problem. And we incentivize it through this challenge structure. The incredible benefit that ARPA-H is gonna get from launching this type of a challenge is that we are gonna see a diversity of solutions that come out from all of these challenged competitors where they don't look at the problem the same way. They each come with their own perspective and they say, here's how I would solve this problem. Here's the vulnerability that I'm finding and we will be the beneficiaries and ultimately the whole health ecosystem will be the beneficiaries of what they're developing. So through this first year where we're getting to the semifinals and then through the next year, we're actually getting to those finalists. We're already seeing some incredible work that's coming out of these competitors and we're leveraging it to help solve some of these big problems. Coming into the AICC city is, I think, so well choreographed to understand the vulnerabilities that exist across the health ecosystem. So whether it is a clinical care site, an emergency room, provider back office, all of that is collectively now represented in AICC. So the cleverness of who came together to think about what needs to be present to create a health ecosystem to drive the competition so that AI cyber challenge really is well represented by what we see in the infrastructure of this village is incredibly well formulated. It is so thoughtful. It should allow anyone who is wondering what does it look like in a healthcare ecosystem to understand the vulnerabilities that are present in a way that maybe they've never even been able to think about. They've never experienced, they never understood where do those vulnerabilities come from? How do you identify them? How do you uh, bend against them? That is all represented here in the AICC village. But this space is moving so fast that we're also hoping that it illuminates something that can help us anticipate what is the threat space of tomorrow or two years from now or five years from now. And so as we build the capabilities over the next year of AICC, it was going to help lead us to what are we doing in our program portfolio in 2027 or 2029 or 2035 because it is gonna to continue to evolve. And this is the place where we really think that we can drive technical understanding of how this is evolving. And what do we need to do now to shape the future uh, to be able to continue to have safe operations within our health systems.
One of the other great benefits of having ARPA-H here and really being at the forefront of this technology is part of our core principles as an agency. We really want to make sure that the capabilities being developed are democratized in such a way is that they will benefit not just the large health systems, those that have revenue margins where they can bring on the greatest technologies to be able to create a safe and secure environment, but also those who operate on a very low margin. So those in the rural environment, critical access hospitals, FQHCs, all of which have the same sets of vulnerabilities. Now, when we create these capabilities, our goal is to make sure that they are accessible and they are affordable and implementable so that we create a safer space across the health ecosystem. We also want to make sure that we are recruiting program managers that come in with the same level of energy and its excitement to really identify critical problems that they see within the health ecosystem that they want to help be part of the solution. And when they come to ARPA-H, we give them the capabilities to drive forward in significant ways to be able to address those problems. It has just been an awesome experience and I'm so excited that ARPA-H is now part of this uh, collective DEF CON and AICC and I'm looking forward to many opportunities uh, to come in the future.